Your husband without any retirement plan? <laughs> you didn't retire. You are fired. Now get out. You can't scare me. Go on, get on another plane. Ah, uh, but I'm on one already. You see, Martha, there's a man flying over the country right now. And he's just like me with a broken arm. Tomorrow, I will have any number of witnesses who will swear I was not here, but there. <coughs> it's all beautifully thought out. You're bluffing. Get out of our plan, please. You won't have time. <laughs> I know you too well. You might think I'm something like this. But you haven't got the guts to pull it off. You're wrong, Martha. <laughs>
It's over, all over, baby. Look, he's got a mistake. Putting your hand on my cheek. It's there, all there. <laughs> Powder burns from the gun you used to shoot your husband. <laughs> I'm sorry it had to end like this. Don't, don't shoot him. Ben. Oh! <laughs> Stephanie, she's dead, all dead. <laughs> It's no good, baby. The memory of Stephanie would be always with us, always haunt us. Now give me that. Yeah. Yes, bang! <laughs> I underestimated you, Jack. Club your hard. Oh, hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stephanie, she was good, all good. Jack, I love you. Let me go with a kiss. <laughs> 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 Which 
Beaches. Where did you plant the homing Casing the floor of his bedroom all night. When I went in there this morning, his bed hadn't been slept in. Have you seen it today? Haven't laid eyes on it. He said he never eats breakfast, but he didn't take lunch either. Not as much as a cup of coffee. It makes me nervous. Peculiar. Most peculiar. Perhaps he is waiting at the dock for the lunch. You had better go and check, Jay. I got dinner to look after. And there will undoubtedly. Be a long cocktail hour first. Go to the dock. But my roast is to in. To the dock. I don't want going down that steep dock. You are perfectly safe. It is daylight now. I wouldn't go down there at night. The dark makes me nervous. I always been scared of it. The launch <laughs> will be arriving. Go. Yes, sir. <laughs> You're not supposed to be here. 
The authors will be arriving to fulfill the commitments, but they do not know what they have committed themselves to. It is for them to find out a lot. You disappear now. <laughs> We are alone now. I must say, the outside looks like forest lawn. I hope it has a bar. Are you all right, Mildred? I'm still weak from that road trip. That's something I have never been troubled with. <coughs> well, bully for you. In my books, they would have flown us over here in a helicopter. Mr. Summers was right. It is exactly the same. Exactly. Incredible what set designers do, isn't it? These are real, all right. No canvas. I can create here. I feel it in my bones. This just calls for a corpse to be sprawled on it. I go for Danish water myself. <laughs> the sofa feels like Salvation Army. It's an intriguing view, isn't it? I like this place. I fit right in here. Oh, I wouldn't brag. <laughs> Wait, look. This is exactly what your Aunt Jenny bought us for a wedding present. Who would have thought there were two of them? <laughs> Look, you know, I'm worried about the reception we got. That beautiful child met us at the dock and then scampered away to the back door. Where is everybody? Ah! You must be Gregory. That is correct. Uh, Mr. Summers told us you'd be here. I'm Brad. I know who you are. I know who you are. And we know who you are, so we're even. What are your wishes? <clears throat> Isn't it cocktail time? If you wish it to be, sir. I wish it to be desperately. Then I shall prepare. <laughs> you will pardon me. That's a creepy one, isn't it? The odd servant. Standard by earlier words. <coughs> I feel hope he's Middle European. That's so beautifully nebulous. Do you suppose we'll be able to work without looking down on us? Oh, I believe that's a rather excellent painting. But you can tell by scratching it with your fingernail. I don't think Mr. Summers would approve. It's rather barren here. I always thought the tropics were lush, with lots of vegetation and palm trees. You didn't write rain, did you? No, dear, that was Somerset Mall. Oh. <coughs> There's nothing here but typing paper. What did you expect, dear? A will to be read at midnight? <laughs> I thought Mr. Summers might have left us a note or something. Strange he didn't meet us at the dock. <coughs> He's changing into black tie, I should spit. He's got to be around here somewhere? Where? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh, just in time, darling. 
Come on, Rodney, up you get. You can't sit there all evening. There's work to do. I'm all right now. It's silly of me. I, I do apologize, but oh, the, the sight of that knife sticking out of Summer's back. Oh, poppycock, you've used knives dozens of times. Well, it's one thing to describe a knife protruding between shoulder blades and the, the blood trickling down the suit. And, oh, but when you actually see it, I, oh, here I go again. <laughs> Easy on, Rodney. I think of something clever. Think of the money you're making. Oh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Where's the brandy? There's bound to be brandy, but always is. Five star, darling. Gregory. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> well, Summers is lying there very peacefully. <laughs> Boy, it looks exactly as if... Oh, for God's sake. What? I was going to say it looks exactly as if he were asleep. Well, I stopped writing lines like that at NYU. <laughs> now, carrying them upstairs was very interesting. I couldn't be more pleased. Yeah, but seriously, I've had characters moving bodies around like toothpicks, but he was damn heavy. Perhaps you're not very strong. I tell you, he's a dead weight. Uh, this is no time to let it be. <laughs> Drink that. Sorry about that. He's really dead, isn't he? If you'd help carry you upstairs instead of fainting, you'd know you are. Well, I'm sorry I was unable to help, but I... Oh, I forget I, it. I'm younger than you are. I don't think it's necessary for you to point that out. You removed the knife, of course. Oh, yes. I'm going to remember it. It was like taking a knife from a wedge of cheese. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like I it just sort of slid out. Yes, uh, of course. Uh, I'm sorry, Miss 
Maxwell, I've always bowed to you in your plot lines. Okay, 